basketball. Do you play? No, no. Our father wouldn't allow it. He didn't want his children to learn how to be team players. That's very sad. Yeah, it is. But my son, Philip, he was a good player, especially when he was young. I guess sports like uh, basketball is uh, something that uh, fathers and sons have in common. What about you? What about me? I, I was, I was just wondering about you and your father. What's the matter with you? You okay there, big guy? I would be if I could give them the slip. But I know they'd catch me. It's only a matter of time before they would catch me. Who's they? You don't want to know. And I don't want to tell you. All right. So you were asking about my father. I was? I, I, maybe you weren't from that. Forget it. Well, maybe, maybe it was the voices that I hear in here. You see, they, they make me say things and, and do things that I wouldn't normally do. You're scaring me, Big Al. You sound, it sounds pretty scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very scary at times. I... Wait. Wait, I remember now. Basketball. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Uh, did your father play basketball? No. My father liked all sports, pretty much. Mm. Baseball, mostly. Mm. Cubs games. Used to watch a couple Bulls games. Taught me how to shoot a jump shot. A jump shot, really? That was a pretty difficult one. Let me see. Go ahead. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was uh, pretty impressive. I bet your father was proud of you. You said. I uh, guess it was mostly my fault. I, I, I must have been terrible to Philip. I can't really remember, but that's what people tell me. But I'm still his father. Tell me, don't you think that I deserve a second chance? I don't know. Maybe. The hospital, isn't it? You're, do you're a doctor, right? No, Al. I'm a cop, actually. A cop? That means you help people. Look, maybe, maybe you could help me get my son back. Maybe I can. I can't help you. Not with your problems with your son, Philip, okay? That's your problem. That's your guy's problem. I thought you just told me that you were going to help me get my son back. I... Well, maybe there's something that I can't help you with, okay, Al? Look, I need all the help I can get right now. Did you ever hear of a woman named Regina? Regina? It's a pretty name. A beautiful Italian woman. Philip's nanny. A long time ago. Regina. Bella Regina. Yes. I wonder if she's upstairs. I... I... I need to check on Philip. I haven't seen no, him. No, 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 Al, Al. Big Al, you're doing that thing again. No, this was a long time ago. Philip's a grown man now. And the reason that I bring her name up is because, you see, as it turns out, this woman is very important to both of us. I've been meaning trying to tell you this. Miss 
supposed to be inside getting your tests. <laughs> I was about to call the police. Well, isn't that funny, Alex? I'm here talking with the police. Yes, so you are. You two having a nice chat? Oh, yeah, we're having a lovely chat. We were talking about fathers. Is that so? Yes. And uh, sounds like he had a pretty good father, unlike our father. Yes, well, Brandon was one of a kind, wasn't he? <laughs> Thank goodness. Nolan, I found him. Nolan, will you please stay with Mr. Spaulding? No, you know what, Nolan, don't. Please go home. I'm going to stay with Mr. Spaulding. Well, actually, I have to speak with you for a moment. Excuse us. All right, sir. All right, what the hell do you think you are doing? You see the condition this man is in. You want to push him right over the edge. What is wrong with him? Is he on something? My brother will be fine if you keep what you know to yourself. You spread this whole mess, spill it, and you will throw him over the edge. Your I know. brother is acting like he just had a lobotomy. I can take care of my brother if you oh. stay out of the way. Is that what now. you think? Is that what you think? Yes, I do. I know it. Gus, nothing good can come from you telling Alan that you are his son. Not now. Not for Alan, not for you. 